Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Welcome to the 2022 Fight Sticks of the Year. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, like last year and the year before, I've teamed up with the moderators of Reddit Fight Sticks to present this year's winners. Yes, we're going over the best Fight Sticks of the Year from Reddit Fight Sticks. To enter was really simple and straightforward. All you had to do was post your stick on Reddit Fight Sticks. We've got an amazing panel of judges and we have a bunch of different categories. Now the judging process was pretty simple and straightforward. Each judge had their own individual sheet with all of the categories listed and all of the categories populated with different fight sticks. They took a look at each stick and rated each stick out of 10. All of those ratings were tallied up across all of the judges and that's how the winners were determined. So now let me present the all-star lineup of judges for this year. We've got some new faces and some returning faces. Our first judge is a well-known artist in the fighting game community with work featured in video games, comic books, and more. It's Genzomen. Our second judge is the exceptionally talented fighting game player, Filipino Man. Our third judge is well-known fighting game commentator and attorney, Ultra David. Next up, we've got the multi-talented Kujo Kate, cosplayer, streamer, commentator, and competitive gamer. We've got the good folks over at Rask, Retro Arcade Stick Collective. We've got competitive gamer, streamer, and all-around entertainer, Vankabot. Retro collector, entertainer, and fight stick lover, Destiny FOMO. Technology and fight stick enthusiast and reviewer, Tech with Craw. Fight stick collector, reviewer, and insanely good guitar player, Hurtbox. Tech reviewer, streamer, and entertainer, Nihongo Gamer. Professional gamer, fight stick lover, and impressively good race car driver, Sherry Genix. The man, the myth, the legend, the general manager of EVO, event director of Combo Breaker, Rick. Rounding out the voting panel, you've got your Reddit Fight Sticks moderators, Winged Insect and Hush My Sweet, and you've also got your friendly neighborhood, Mr. Sujano. And now let me present the individual categories. Rookie of the Year, Craziest Fight Stick, Best Artwork, Best Handcrafted Case, Best Internals, the Reddit Fight Sticks Award and Fight Stick of the Year. So Fight Sticks of the Year is largely just for fun and some bragging rights. The winners get some nice Reddit flair and Reddit Fight Sticks. And this year we are taking things up a notch, just a little bit. We've got some actual trophies to give out to the winners. We've got some black trophies and some glow in the dark trophies. And these are joysticks. So these trophies will be given out at complete random to the winners. They'll either receive a black or a glow in the dark one and they have been generously donated by an anonymous member in the Fight Stick community. You know who you are and thank you. So without further delay, here's the first category of the night, Rookie of the Year. This award is given out to the best first timer stick. And the winner for Rookie of the Year goes to the Mid-Century Modern Retro Futuristic Smashbox. Congratulations on your sticky.
And here are some of the comments from the judges on the entire category. And now for the second category of the night, craziest fight stick. And this is, well, you guessed it, for the craziest fight stick we've seen this year. And the winner for Craziest Fight Stick goes to the Galactic Thunder Snot Blaster 8000, Triple Spicy Edition. Congratulations on your win. This category was heavily talked about by the judges. It was hard to fit all of the comments on one page, but here you go. Here's all of the comments about the entire category. Feel free to pause the video if you need to read through them. Now we've gotten to the category for best artwork and here are the nominees.
And the sticky for best artwork goes to the Wooden Guy Build, artwork that is entirely hand cut and made out of five different types of wood. Congratulations on your sticky. And here's what the judges had to say about the entire category. Now we move on to the category for best handcrafted stick, and I think the title of this one kind of speaks for itself. Here are the nominees. And the winner for best handcrafted case goes to, I'm going to absolutely butcher the pronunciation of this one, but the Oceasis Arcade Fight Stick Controller. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations on your sticky. And here's what the judges had to say about the entire category. Again, feel free to pause the video if you need to read through them. Now we're shifting focus from the outside of a stick to the inside of a fight stick and taking a look at the beauty on the inside. These sticks are all up for the best internals award. And the 2023 sticky for best internals goes to the Pink Floyd All Fight Stick with Stickless Layout and Quamba Gravities. Congratulations on your sticky and well deserved. The judges had to say a lot about this category. Here are the comments from the judges about the entire category. Feel free to pause this video just to read everything. Moving on now, we've got a very special award, the Reddit Fight Sticks Award. This award is not voted on by the judges at all. It's handed out by one of the Reddit Fight Sticks moderators, and I'll hand this one off to Hush My Sweet. Whether it's your first build or you're a seasoned veteran on the scene, our Fight Sticks is a great place to get help troubleshooting an issue or just to covet the daily flood of awesome stick posts. There has been a lot of really great work this year. Three of note that have impressed us are Jerombe with his wild case designs, The Train with his tech and work on the open source fight stick project, and Jamsta with his optical sensor based controllers. 
We appreciate their contributions to the scene and are very eager to see what all three generate this coming year. But part of the Mod Award criteria is substantial community contributions. So for this year's Mod Award, we wanted to shine a light on some of the people behind the scenes doing these thankless jobs to keep the Fightstick Discord running smoothly. EX Flashkick, Karina, and Captain have been instrumental these past years in growing it to over 4,000 users, as well as keeping the trading and selling element thriving. We appreciate all you do for this community and hope you continue to make our fight sticks the best experience on Reddit and beyond. And now we've arrived at the last category of the night and arguably the most important and most prestigious, and that is fight stick of the year. This category was judged just a little bit different. Each judge took a look at all of the sticks of the year and rated their top five. The sticks that showed up the highest up in the list the most are the ones that won. Here are the top five fight sticks of the year. In fifth place, we have the Galactic Thunder Snot Blaster 8000 Triple Spicy Edition. In fourth place, we've got Xeno's Cherry Roll Top. In third place, we've got the Mid-Century Modern Retro-Futuristic Smashbox. In second place, we've got the No Joystick, No Buttons, No Problem, the Optical All-Sensor Fight Stick. And now to unveil the Fight Stick of the Year for 2023. And the sticky goes to any Power Rangers fans here, the Power Rangers Fight Stick. Congratulations on your trophy for winning Fight Stick of the Year. This thing is absolutely incredible. And absolutely no surprise here, this category was heavily talked about by all of the judges. Here are a bunch of the comments and feel free to pause the video to read through them all. Some of the judges even went into detail as to explain their top five. This category was incredibly close. But anyways, that about does it for Fight Sticks of the Year. A massive congratulations goes out to all of the winners this year and everyone who was nominated. A massive thank you goes out to the moderators of Reddit Fight Sticks for helping me put this one together. And a massive thank you to all of the judges. And thank you to the community for posting on Reddit Fight Sticks for being active and for making 2022 amazing. I can't wait to see what 2023 has to offer. Let me know your thoughts about Reddit Fight Sticks, Fight Sticks of the Year in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.